Hey there, Ventex here, and today, as you can see from that brief introduction, we are going to be starting Layers of Fear. This game's been out for a while, and I did play it, but I only have about six hours on record, so I don't really remember it. But from what I do remember, it's a great horror-based, story-driven game. I'm excited to learn more about it and figure out what's going on in it with you guys. So we're going to go ahead, make a new profile name, Ventex. Let's load it up. Layers of Fear is a unique, immersive game experience in which every decision affects the narrative. As in life, it is the doors you open, the memories you take with you, and the shadows you explore that will define who you are. This may be our game, but it is your journey. So as you see, Inheritance right here is a DLC, so we will be checking that out. Let's go to our settings. Let's make sure the graphics are on high, everything looks good. Let's go to the sound. Turn the music down a little bit. I want to keep the... Everything else on. Subtitles good. Sound effects good. Apply. A little bit more. Music is nice. So I do want y'all to hear that. Just don't want it to be deafening. I think that should be fine right there. Uh, controls. Okay. Get our mouse sensitivity a little bit less. I know I think I turned the music up a little bit more. Let's start. New game. I know how you must feel. Lost. Alone. Hopeless. You probably deserve it. But even for you, there is still a way. A way to bring it all back. The one precious thing you ever truly desired. Finish it. Every portrait that is painted with feeling is a portrait of the artist, not of the sitter. Oscar Wilde, the picture of Dorian Gray. So here we are. As you can see, very nice graphics despite its age. Come over here. Looks like a muzzle. You can rotate it. I don't know what else we can do with that, but there it is. Some interesting art there. Okay, let's open these doors up, let's see what's going on in here. Dear sir, we would like to ask you to cease bothering our pest control specialist as well as refrain from sending us any more of your highly inappropriate letters. I'll have you know that my mother is a respectable woman and does not take kindly to such accusations. All of our employees that visited your house reportedly reported absolutely no signs of a rodent infestation of any kind and as such decided not to act further than a prolific spraying. Please treat this letter as a final warning or else the next envelope you'll receive will be from our lawyers. With best regards, Carl Denton, Pesky Pest Pacification Co. Okay, so supposedly I guess we have a rodent problem but no one else can make out. What's in here? An artist's triumph. Gallery opening wows critics. Some call him the new Caravaggio. Caravaggio. Others compare him to Von Eck. And one awestruck critic who wished to remain a name went as far as to invoke the spirit of the great Leonardo. Anyway, he sliced it. The ex exhibition proved an immense success. Distinct style has been praised for its unique combination of Renaissance influences and more progressive techniques. The artist himself attended the event in the company of his beautiful fiancée, looking stunning in her black gown. Blank revealed to us exclusively that the couple are indeed expecting. Okay. We can open up this other stuff. Looks like a photo here. So, shaking someone's hand at an art gallery. A little bit of blood, it looks like. Can't turn it over or anything. We can open the, these drawers too. Some dominoes, nice. Play some bones. Alright. What else? Okay. We can go into this kitchen. Oh, that's wine. Okay. 
We can't open up these as well. Is that a letter? No. Let's get all these drawers open and everything. See if there's anything useful to us in here. This is a note. Paint. Rose Doré. Burnt Umber. Jenna. Or Sienna. Uh, brushes times 25. Air fresheners times 50 pox. Apples 10 kilograms. Booze. Lots of booze. Okay, we got a picture of fruit. That's a lot of fruit. Anything else we can interact with in here? More, more of these thingies. I don't know if we'll find anything else in here. Doesn't hurt to check. Let's open up this door. This is just a storage cellar, it looks like. Right? Pretty nice kitchen. Oh, what was that? Oh, a scale. What if that would be a puzzle later or something? Looks like we got the sink. Stop that water. There we are. Looking very posh. I turn to the side. Yep, look at that. The mirror works like a mirror should. Uh, can we turn on this light? The low knee prosthesis. Okay. Low the hell did they walk to her? Walk to the herd? Something. Turn on these lights. Can we run the bath? No. Toilet looks like uh, there's a mess. Can't go through here. This is just a another. Looks like a little storage. Look at all the. Oh, okay. I stepped on that. Can I do it again? No. Little Vinny and Partners got a rat problem. Call us now and forget about it. <laughs> I thought that was a new word. I didn't know. Forget about it. Five 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 three eight two five. Fast, efficient, discreet. All right, Vinny. Any letters? No letters. There's a door here that goes down into a creepy basement. Do we have a light switch? Yes, we do. Basements are just always creepy. Oh, they said we didn't have a rodent problem. Obviously. Looking for any letters. Again, this is a very story-based game. Ooh. A violin. Does it look like it's just all about art? It's about music, too. That's creepy. Alright. Shall we continue? Oh, can't move through that. Guess I'm too fat. Let's go around. Locked. Alright, there's only one more room upstairs that I saw, and it looked like it had a letter on it, so I was trying to avoid that room, but looks like the game's forced our hand. We go up these stairs very, very slowly. Sir, I didn't touch the workshop, just like you asked, although I can't imagine the mess that's inside. Also, if you care so much for that room, maybe you should pay more attention to where you leave the keys. I brought them back to your office. Have a nice day. Oh, cool. You can read it that way, too. I guess that helps if uh, you can't make out some of the cursive or something. Uh, he said he brought it to my office. I guess my office would be upstairs. Look at these photos. It's creepy. Okay, a doggy. Oh. Okay, we have some notes. Literally. See? Been working all night. Don't wake me up. I'm guessing that's my office. Is that blood? Whatever it is, we can't get to it. There's some booze. We wanted 30 of them. Uh, 
Oh, probably a rat. Oh, this must be my office. Okay, if that's my office, I'm gonna go into this room first. Galactic Grand Opening in Flames. Disastrous fire at the new at the new department store leaves dozens fighting for their lives. A long-awaited opening in the Galactic Department store turned into hell on Earth when the building's wiring burst into flames. While the majority of the visitors managed to reach the emergency exit in time, several unfortunate attendees were trapped in the back of the building, having no chance to escape the raging inferno. The exact number of casualties has not yet been determined, although it is estimated that at least a dozen people have been severely injured. The owner of the Galactic, Ronald Sh Sh Sheffield, Sheffield uh, has so far declined to comment on today's tragic events. Oh, all right, quick. We got a ring, sapphire. Anything else? Take a brush. Nothing over here. Walking cane. Another note. Sorry, I couldn't sleep. The leg's been acting up again. Figured I might as well do some work. Love you. Oh. Ah, Lee, you scared the crap out of me. Come on. Okay. So far, nothing's happening, and I'm still scared. <laughs> this is our... Oh, that's the glass. That's cool. It's our glasses. We have some cigars, it looks like. Some matches. My dear friend, let me ask you one simple question. Have you completely lost your goddamn mind? I know you're going through some hard times right now. I really do. That's why I agreed to let you do these illustrations in the first place. For old times' sake, I even deliberately gave you a trivial task because I expected Little Red Riding Hood to be something you can draw in your sleep. What I didn't expect is to get this demented nightmare fuel you submitted for a kid's bedtime story. There is no way in hell I'm using this. I already regret agreeing to a payment in advance. Please get your shit together. Your old pal, Liam Brickstone. Whisper Tail Publishing House. I'm sorry, I'll make it up to you. Tonight is all about you and me. Let's make it special. You promised. Okay. Let's grab our key. And then we'll go check out that room. You can see in the bottom right, there's a little key symbol. Oh. Like a little kid's room. Some blocks. Crowns. That's creepy. Wooden doll. Okay. Oh. Can I turn them around? wonder if there's like a way you can turn items around and find something on them. It's a plate with a little rattle. Is that creepy enough for you? How about this? Is that creepy enough for you? Let's get out of here. Let's go to my workshop. I'm sure if we open up the workshop, nothing bad will happen. That nobody ever. Nothing here. Here's a letter. I'm so sick and tired of us talking through these notes. We live in the same house for God's sake. Come talk to me when you've done when you're done. When you've done. When you're done, that looks like a V. Before you go to sleep. Lots of booze. More booze. Safe to say we have a problem. Let's open this 
door. It's locked. Both of these are locked. Ooh, lots of brushes. Okay, get it right this time. Okay. Can I open this stuff yet? That's locked, 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 locked. Okay, let's get back out, I guess. That's not my workshop. <laughs> 